Could cars of the future really be powered by algae? Scientists at Utah State University in Logan, Utah seem to think so, and now they've exceeded a world speed record to prove it. At the recent time trials at the world famous Bonneville Salt Flats, the USU Aggie A-Salt Dragster shocked the crowd as it raced down the track, powered by a unique fuel synthesized from one of the world's most plentiful organisms, algae. To accomplish this took the melding of minds and the support of a world-class institution capable of forward thinking and long-term support. We combine cutting-edge expertise in engineering with excellence in biochemistry and agricultural scientists that were willing to think outside the box. These three elements converged perfectly at Utah State University and the result may just change the way we all get around in the future. The idea of using algae as a fuel was born during the crippling oil shortages of the 1970s. Faced with the reality of a world running out of gas, scientists began searching for alternatives. Algae was considered but quickly dismissed because the science to grow and process it economically did not yet exist. So we're really excited about the USU biofuels. Uh, we take CO2 and sunlight and turn it into completely renewable fuels and we think it's a potential game changer because uh, we can actually use this in existing engines and the tests we've already done have shown that it works just as well as the renewable fuels like biodiesel from soybeans. And of the biofuels uh, portfolio, microalgae has the best promise for achieving significant contributions uh, for transportation fuels. And at Utah State University, we began building a research program that could address algal biofuels. Uh, we focused on how to grow it, how to extract it, how to process it. The ASALT was recently clocked at 73.977 miles per hour, which may not seem like blistering speed, but it beat the existing land speed record for its one liter small diesel engine class, which is an engine size comparable to that of a riding lawnmower. It isn't about the speed. The real story here is the fuel. The science behind it, the research that goes into it, and the fact that we have a real replacement for fossil fuels possibly in our hands right now. So here at Utah State, we take an A to Z approach. So we work with the College of Agriculture, which are, who are plant scientists, and they understand how do we grow these microalgae to accumulate the high levels of these biofuel precursor compounds called lipids. And as we're biochemists, we focus on how do we take those cells and how we process them and refine them to get the fuel itself, and then that can be used um, to do diesel test engine uh, tests and also to be used in the Aggie A salt use of streamliner. With the screaming success of the A-Salt Dragster, they've proven the concept. The algae-based fuel works. Now the next big hurdle for the team is bringing down the cost of production. Algae don't automatically produce the oil needed to make biodiesel. Stress is needed. We are working on getting the stress right to increase oil productivity and bring the cost down. Currently, algal biodiesel is about $15 per gallon. We think we can bring that cost down significantly. So we're really excited about the enormous potential microalgae has to be a player in the biofuels area. Coming from Colorado State to join the team here in the McCanklin Aerospace Department, I take data from plates like these and open raceway ponds and other processing technologies to inform systems level analysis, enable us to really focus our efforts in research and development to drive the cost down, looking towards commercialization in the future. We are currently studying algal production in both high input bioreactors and low input open raceways. These laboratory scale raceways are powered by state-of-the-art LEDs which allow us to provide the equivalent of summer sunlight 365 days a year. Growing algae in a greenhouse under electric lights will never be cost effective, but it greatly accelerates our research progress. If their past success is any indication of the future, we could all be driving algae-fueled cars very soon. <laughs>